Hello and welcome to this video on creating machine sets for your OpenShift cluster. In my case, I want to create a machine set so I can deploy some additional worker nodes. And these are going to be defined as infra nodes. And this is where my monitoring, logging, and if I install OpenShift container storage, where most of its uh, uh, compute will, will happen. So I want to go ahead and create a machine set for that. You can also use it for additional things, create a machine set for additional worker nodes so you can scale up or have dynamic scaling. Um, or auto scaling rather of uh, your worker nodes as resources increase and uh, because I did a VMware UPI install the machine set doesn't already exist so we're going to go ahead and create that and if you followed along with my installation on VMware you'll know that when I generated the manifest I did back up one of those uh, machine set uh, worker files and I transferred that over here to the bastion host right here so we're going to modify this file because it already includes a lot of the information for my specific environment. And you'll see that in a moment. If you did not back up this file during your installation, you can go to the documentation page here. I'll leave the link to this in the description below. Then select machine sets for different clouds. And you'll see that they've got templates provided for uh, many different environments. This one's for AWS. Then we have Azure and then Google and then OpenStack. And then, of course, vSphere. And you'll want to copy this out. Uh, please note right here that you need to define the role, right? So if you look here under the labels, you want to define the role. And you'll see that I have to manually put that in when I edit this machine set because I'm doing an infra node. If you leave this out, it's just going to generate it as a regular worker node. Um, so we need to make sure that because I'm doing a specific role type as infra, I need to make sure I add that. Um, anyway, you'll see that I add that there. Now, the other part of the information you're going to need is this infrastructure ID. So you see that there. They've provided a link here that you can generate that from your cluster. So let's select that, paste that in there. And here's my unique cluster uh, ID. Uh, OpenShift is my cluster name. And then here's uh, a, a five character, randomized character that helps identify uh, my specific cluster. So again, if you didn't back up your machine set file, you wanna make sure you grab that cluster ID because you're gonna need that for all these areas that says infrastructure ID, and then your role, obviously, for, for whatever the role is, worker or whatever. All right, so uh, let's take a quick look before we edit this file and deploy it of what my environment is. I've got a small cluster here, three nodes, three masters, three workers, and now I'm gonna create three infrastructure um, uh, nodes as well in this environment. And then uh, if we look at our uh, cluster, we we'll see that again here, three masters, three workers, machine sets. We see that there's no machine set defined here yet. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and configure this one, deploy it, we'll see that pop in here, and then we can uh, start deploying some machines. All right, so let's go ahead and edit uh, this file, which again is from my templates that I backed up from the manifest. Great, and we can see all the sections here that uh, say worker, right? Because this came from the worker manifest. And I'm gonna change that to uh, infra, worker, infra, group. There we go, so now all those have changed to infra. And again, uh, we need to make sure we add that role, right? So this specification, where is it at? Oh, sorry, I accidentally scrolled to the wrong section. I need to add this right here. So let me grab that. And I'll go under the spec right before the nodes. Right here, and we'll just paste that in and make sure the spacing is correct. One, two. And then change my role to infra. And then do to do, do, let's see, disk space, uh, 250 gig, eight gig is fine for the memory. CPU, I like four. Uh, the template, template name, this refers to your vSphere template. Mine is Red Hat Core OS, uh, not this one. So I need to make sure that I, oops, delete all that out. So it matches my template name right here. Uh, in for user data, it's actually supposed to be worker. Uh, this is actually the um, uh, the ignition file data that's stored in the, on the cluster. 
that's what that is and all this is correct except for the resource pool I'm not using a resource pool here if you are you need to make sure you put that information in I'm just going to delete it there we go uh, zero replicas because I'm not going to automate the deployment of the replicas um, if I put in uh, three let's say right here then when this loads it will automatically create uh, three replicas and I'm I don't want to automatically create uh, anything uh, I want to go ahead and load that manually. All right, so let's uh, network name. I forgot that. Uh, this refers to the worker node network name, uh, which is net172. So net172. Um, that looks right. Mm, everything else looks OK. All right, so that, that all looks right for me. Come over here to machine sets. Let's go ahead and create this. OC create F99. And actually, let me make one more change. Uh, let's go to the top here. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to call this OpenShift Infra. Uh, just the name. So when the machine set comes up, it'll just say infra nodes. Okay. And it's just for me. So OC create F99. There we go. See, OpenShift infra nodes. And now we can look at that. And this is exactly our YAML. Everything's been loaded. If we need to make changes, we could make them right here. And then I'll clear this. Uh, all right, so let's go to machine count and we'll say create three machines. Click save. And then if we go to machines, oh, there we go, popped in right away. They're all being provisioned now. And we can look at our cluster and we should see three. Uh, there is one, two, and three. So those infrastructure nodes are now being provisioned. And uh, it's going to take just a couple of minutes. Um, they're going to clone from that template, that Red Hat Core OS clone. And then uh, we'll see those go, go from provisioning to, I think it says like installing or, or provisioned or they give us some state change um, or powering on. It'll say something different. I can't remember. Uh, and then we just got to wait a few minutes for them to come into a ready state. Now, when the nodes come up, they're automatically going to join the cluster, cluster for us. We don't have to worry about the uh, approving the CSRs. So that's one advantage of having the machine sets. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead. I'll be right back when these machines are ready to go and we'll uh, take a look at them then. All right, so all the pods are being deployed to these infrastructure nodes now. You can see that this one's in a ready state. These other ones should come up momentarily. There's the second one. And the third one. All right, so let's take a look at uh, OC get nodes. There we go. So definitely provisioned our three nodes there. We can see those as well. It's over here. And go to machine sets. And you can control how many uh, just by this metric. So if you want to scroll, you know, if you want to go down a node, I'm not going to do that right now. It would deprovision a node from these machines, and it would drop one. You just have two nodes. And then as soon as that happens, you would also reflect, you would also see it reflect here in VMware where that node would disappear. Uh, so it's a good way to manage uh, scaling of additional nodes and node resources. Um, if you want to go ahead and put it in for uh, another set, so let's say I wanted to do uh, workers, uh, we'll do 99, we'll edit this again, and we'll say um, infra back to worker. All right, so now we've got a worker node definition. Everything else is worker, OpenShift worker nodes. Uh, everything else is really the same here. Um, all right, we can do OC create F99. And we got our new worker machine set here. Again, zero machines are created, but now we have just a regular uh, worker node definition. And we can see the role uh, that we changed should be reflected right here. So role is going to just be a, a worker node. And again, this gives you the ability to uh, set auto scale or machine auto scalers if you want. 
Um, but for me, if I needed to scale up some additional workers and I have some control of, you know, executing the machine count up or down uh, based on the, the needs. And you can create additional machine sets as well. So if you want to have dedicated machine sets for a particular job, so let's say you have a development team and you want to provide them, you know, a group of six workers that they're going to be um, deploying to maybe for uh, code ready workspaces or something, then you can uh, set up a specific machine set. And then if they need more resources and you can scale up those nodes. Um, anyway, just a, a rough example. So that is machine sets in OpenShift Container Platform. Um, thanks a lot. I'll leave the links again in the description below and I'll uh, try to post uh, a little how-to on, uh, on GitHub, on my GitHub link as well. Thanks a lot.